Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on my car to handle scales. I'm going to be going over why I like to use them, any of the pros and cons I might have, so you can decide if you want to use them on your next knife. So I had a couple of people ask me why I use my Carta um, and Kira Knight also. So I want to start making some review videos on knife handle material. If that's something you want to see, let me know in the comments. I'll go over stuff I've used before. I'll also go over any new material I try so you can see if you want to use it on any of your knives. So I just got this blade etched. Put my logo on it. I also etched a flag. This is for a custom order. The guy that's buying this wanted micarta. He wants blue and black micarta scales. And they don't look like much now. Once they start grinding, the blue will come through. And on my other videos I've talked about, you can customize these a lot. If you want more blue or more black to come through. They also have single colors. I like to do in the two tones. One thing I really like about micarta is they're cheap. You don't have to spend a lot for them. Um, I've really been liking these two tones. So this is blue and black. And I can bring more of the blue or more of the black through just depending on how much I grind. So now I'm going to drill holes for the handle pins and I'll start shaping these getting attached to the knife. Alright so with any kind of handle material you're going to want to see which side looks the best. Which one you want for the bottom and the top. So and this one's not going to matter as much with the two-tone micarta because I can bring out whatever I want, but I'm still going to find the nicer side. And the one thing I've noticed on micarta, a lot of times they won't be totally flat. So I'm going to, and I can fix that on my grinder, but I'm going to see what sides match the best. So this side, they're really flat. And there's no gaps at all. So that's the sides I'm going to go with. And that works out good too because this one that looks nice, it'll be on the top. And this one looks good uh, on the bottom. So when I'm working with Kiernite, I'm really careful when I put any clamps on it. Same with the softer woods. Hardwoods and micarta, they're pretty tough. And I've never cracked one. I'm still, I don't go too tight, but it's a little bit easier to clamp. I don't have to worry as much about cracking. And I always want to leave a little bit of room. I've got I've got this my card right up against my logo, and I do it a little farther because I want to be able to round the handle. So I'll have it up higher than I want, and then when I round it, it'll be right where I want it to be. You don't have to have a vice like this. This one makes it so much easier. I got this from Harbor Freight for thirty dollars, and it's worth it. It really helps with the drilling. If I didn't have the vise, then this clamp would be resting right on here. And to fix that, I would just move my my rest over. But then it's not centered, and a lot of times you'll be drilling, and it'll start to it'll turn a little bit. And when you're drilling, the hole can be uneven, and that can cause the pin to go in crooked, and you'll just have problems later on. So I think this is definitely worth it. All right, so now we're going to drill through the micarta. we see how easy it is to drill, if there's any cracking or anything else. So I put a little bit of pressure on in the beginning, but it went through easy. There's no cracking. The hole looks really straight. All right, now I'm going to do the rough shaping before I, I epoxy it. I definitely want to wear a respirator because you don't want to be breathing in this stuff. This micarta is pretty tough in this old belt that I have. It's burning the micarta and not really cutting it down a whole lot, so I'm going to switch to a new belt. And this way, it won't burn it, it'll cut it, it'll be a lot faster. So something I like about this micarta, it's really easy to work on the grinder. 
I'm able to get it really close to the tang. It makes it a lot easier for when the handle is actually attached. So now what I'm going to do is attach to the handle, let it dry for 24 to 48 hours, and then we can start the final grinds. All right, now I'm going to epoxy the handles. Micarta, I've never had an issue with micarta not holding. It's always done really well. Something I have started doing though is dimpling the insides. Just gives it a little bit extra holding power. And that way you don't have to worry about it. Now I just cleaned it up a little bit. I still have a lot of shaping to do. Get a lot closer to the steel. I'm going to make these scales a little bit thinner also. But everything looks really good. I don't see any cracks or anything. It shouldn't be there. So I'll continue shaping it and then do the final sanding. All right, I sanded the handle up to 2000 grit. And now I'm gonna dip it in boiled linseed oil and see what it does to the handle. You can see the part I didn't dip at the top. It looks really good with that oil on it. I'm going to let it soak, do a couple coats on it, and then we'll see what it looks like. <laughs> 